And it's a new day after that really big expedition. And it's a Sunday, so you know what that means. Yep, we're gonna get reminded about the home shopping program again. What are they selling this time? Myth-like sword. Plus two herbal pills. And purifying salt with segaki rice. So I think that's like a debuff remover or a buff remover on the enemies. I keep forgetting which one is which. And uh, items that cast hammer on. So I don't think I'm going to need the myth-like sword because I already have uh, the shovel. Which is the best myth-like weapon we can ever get. So I think I might take the purifying salt combo. If you don't have the sharp shovel yet, though, you can get the myth-like sword. It's a protagonist weapon, so yeah. Oh, and we get a trophy for, um, I think that's buying five things from him? Okay, so today's not going to be particularly eventful, but what we will be doing is going around and turning in a lot of side quests that we completed. Also, we have some new seedlings available. First is Wall Paprika. Actually, not 100% sure what Paprika is. I'm just going to look that up. It might be one of those um, vegetables that has a completely different name in, in Australia, but I know that, um, like, I know that we call what America calls bell peppers, we call that capsicum. Oh, it actually is uh, basically capsicum. Okay. Had a feeling it was that. So what these do is they cast all of the, like, elemental wall skills. The ones you've seen, say, Shadow Yukio and Shadow Kanji use. You can get those skills on party members, like, as actual skills, but they're kind of hard to get, so often you use those via items. The one that we really want, though, is Barrier Corn. Barrier Corn is pretty amazing, and we need to harvest both types for a side quest, but you want to farm as much corn as you can and always buy corn whenever you have, have access to it. It's just that good. May as well buy the other one. I hope we have enough money to do what we need to. Also, because we have new vegetables, the tired housewife is going to have different dialogue here. Uh, yeah, sugar, probably not great, and, um, using, like, wheat in some kind of a salad dish, I don't think that's a great idea. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go to the shopping district first, because there we can turn in the horn and the, uh, coal for the old man, but first, I believe we don't have a, no, we do not have a jester persona, so I'm gonna need to go and get one, because we'll be spending time with Adachi today. Just cutting right to the chase, just giving her the horn. Yeah, this definitely sounds vaguely Shakespearean to me. But you just get a bunch of money, so that's pretty nice. And into the northern shopping district for the man who wanted coal. Most of these quests just give you money, really. Are you saying anything different? Oh, you are. Um, well, she does now, but, um, <laughs> uh, not, um, at the time that, um, she went here. Yeah, so there's coal. Um, okay, just more money. I was thinking that you were going to invite us to also get into the sauna. Not really sure, uh, who you's, uh, grandparents would be. But the third side quest we'll be turning in is actually the most interesting one. It's at the Samagawa floodplain. This is the old key. I think she promised a reward that money can't buy. Oh, okay then. But at least it's the thought that counts. She's still going to reward us. The secret lesson. So 
So, well, that's pretty much just social links in a nutshell that applies more clearly to P3 because ruffling their feathers was something you could actually do. In this game, there are only two of them. I mean, admittedly, they're both romance options that you can reverse, so I guess it still sort of makes sense, but most of them you can't. So that's highlighted in purple text. This is actually kind of weird though, because every time you are given an opportunity to confess to someone, there's no way it can possibly be rejected. There's only two links where you can potentially lock yourself out of the romantic route, and incidentally there are also the two that can be reversed, but for completely different reasons. And on those, you just never get the romance dialogue prompt. And this bit here is something that I find kind of strange. Basically, this is the game's tutorial on the platonic versus romantic root splits in the social links. And when you listen to this, you also get a major boost in knowledge and courage. Two things I find weird about this. One, the fact that a tutorial for such a major game mechanic is locked behind a relatively obscure side quest. Secondly, the way that it's worded, it almost makes it seem like the harem route was assumed and the platonic routes were actually meant as a punishment, which, if that's true, I've lost quite a bit of respect for the writers. There are a lot of scenes later in the game that I actually feel were written assuming the harem route as well, so... Oh. I've been wanting to show some of the platonic routes because I think they're quite good in a lot of cases, and I just don't like the fact uh, that you have to cheat on everyone without their consent if you are going the harem path. But it does almost seem like that the game is actually designed assuming the harem route. It wasn't until Persona 5 Royal they actually gave specific rewards for going the platonic routes. Anyway, it says there our relationship is not ready to advance yet. We're actually forced to do this. There's no way we could get enough points from the last rank up. So we just have to talk to him at Juness and go shopping for a little bit. And there we go. Right, that's fine. So that should be the last spend time we ever need to do for, for this social Welcome link. Because the rest of them don't really require much in the way of points. Oh, we already have uh, a vegetable growing. What do we grow? Ah, crack wheat. Uh, to be honest, I kind of want to swap it out for, for um, corn. Because corn is just that good. I want to farm as much of this as possible. Especially since Tetrakan and Makarakan are quite rare skills at this point in the game. You can get it on Kaiwan, but Kaiwan's weak to physical, as I've said before. And tonight we're just going to go ahead and read 100 ghost stories again. Playing uh, Persona 5 on my own time, I already have the speed reading book in that one. We won't get the speed reading book in this one for a little bit. But at least it's not nearly as bad as Persona 5 Vanilla, where getting it is locked behind reading several other books, and by the time you have it, there's not much left to read in the game. Well, what if she wants to do things more substantial than that? You know, she actually does appear on shows for idiots, but, well, she doesn't enjoy that. So I almost feel like, is this the question where, okay, yeah, this is so weird because I think all three of these answers make sense, yet for some reason it's individuality. Like, I don't know if this was a translation issue or something, it might have been, but... I still feel like all three of the answers make sense. That's something that you've always got to be careful of whenever you're translating some kind of a multiple choice question because you might end up accidentally making it so that several answers seem correct. 
Most of the class questions in this game are not like that, though. I think that's the only one where I kind of disagree with... ...with the translations, I guess? It might have just been a, an issue with the original as well. All right. <laughs> that's a pretty good line. Yes, we have free time today, but we're not going to be spending it with you. You kidding? Yeah, the good news is they never get mad at you uh, rejecting a lunch invitation. And you're approaching from a different side, which means you're not going to be inviting us directly. Oh boy, I'm not exactly looking forward to Yukio's next rank up because, well, it's... it's... So the first uh, new quest of today that we can turn in is right in front of us. You know, I wonder if the Crooked Cross is uh, shaped like the pose that Yusuke does in P5. And we mostly did that just for the quest now log, that, that item's not really the best. And we can turn in the table here. True, maybe it's just something that's really popular with the locals. Hopefully this keeps the glue off that table. How do you neatly wrap snuff soles exactly? I've always wondered like exactly what that is, and if it really is a kind of snuff, then isn't that kind of illegal for teenagers to be using? I don't know. I feel like there's... Oh, okay, the last quest that we have at school is the Cleaning Club's Passion, which we can't actually do yet, because we don't have the outfit, which we'll be getting later. Anyway, I wanted to check in with Girl in Glasses, because we haven't talked to her for a little bit, I think. <laughs> well, uh... Console yourself with the fact that no matter how bad you are at the cooking club, there's no way you could possibly be worse than Milliam from Trails of Cold Steel. So, today we're actually going to be spending the afternoon setting up another, um, I'll just say thing here. We have to talk to Saki Konishi's brother again. This one I don't think has a stat requirement. Yeah, that's you. Well, we're pretty much locked in now. Well, let's hope you Narukami is as good at uh, medical stuff as he is at most things. And once again, people are gossiping about Konishi in a way that he doesn't like. Unfair. Unfair is the fact that his sister was murdered. Let me guess, you heard all of that, didn't you? It must be hard, though, feeling like you kill the mood every time you enter a room. He's... Uh, he's really interesting. I love the way that they explore that. As you will see here. Although someday we need to stop calling him Saki Konishi's brother. It's like Naruto the abridged comedy spoof fan dub series show, always huh. calling Itachi Sasuke's brother.
Huh. That sounds a little like something Kanji would say. Hmm. Uh, you know, I have a feeling I know who that might have belonged to. We need to learn his first name, come on! Welcome back. I'm now reminded of the way the anime handles things with him. Like, they, they, they talk about Saki having a brother, and then Kanji just immediately drags him almost literally to the rest of the group. So in the fridge tonight... Side dish. Nah, might as well. In Japan, the term side dish can refer to a lot of different things. So I'm not exactly sure what that was. <laughs> Especially since, like, that doesn't really offer any clues. Do I have Hierophant? I clearly do not have Hierophant. I'll be right back. You know, while we're here, I can check this place out and see if uh, they have Kanji stuff in stock. Also, do we have any things we can give you for breadcrumbs? Hmm, yes. Taitara's business is definitely booming right now. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess I can give you this. We're gonna actually need some more breadcrumbs for later, so I'm gonna wanna grab those wherever I can. Yeah, we have some new kanji weapons, half-size tatami, bodyboard, <laughs> that's pretty great, bath lid, big symbol. There's a lot of really, and Christmas wreath, which gives plus 50 experience. There's a lot of really great, uh, like, lethal joke items you can find here. Hmm, I can get this, but I kind of prefer the plus 50 SP right now. In general, you tend to need to farm quite a lot to be able to afford the better weapons there. Okay, tonight what we're really doing is doing another rank of Hierophants. And this one is another expression locked rank. Looks like we might be able to get some more info out of him when it comes to Nanako's mother. Damn. Let me guess, Adachi messed something up again. So B is the best option here. No. It's been a while since the last Rai smile. This one? No sounds like a much older case. Mm. What's wrong?
That still gets to me, I think especially because sickness has always been kind of a major phobia of mine in a way that just the idea of young children being sick like that and having that kind of pain just... yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I think she seems all right. Um, that just makes me think of Psyche Locks from Phoenix Wright. But yeah, whatever called him to work there was something that really bothered him. And this is only rank 5. There's still more to find out about all this. Night. And straight to classes finishing. Today there are some new books available at the bookstore. Well, I mean, obviously at the bookstore, where else would they be available? Short on cash. But that's not actually the one we want. Expert Fishing. You should read this. Even if you're not going for the All Books Trophy, read this. And yeah, I have not even even started reading the Bully Teacher series. But this line actually kind of applies to Persona 4 and even 5. You don't really need to have played the earlier games to fully understand them. Yeah, next isn't until July. Ah, July 15th isn't that long off. So what is the book that's coming soon? Man of History, another one by Kanju. And Home Gardening, that's kind of nice. We can see what this group is talking about. Oh no, the entire love triangle is gathered. <laughs> I think you're both forcing him to do something he doesn't want to do. Oh, so today we're going to be seeing Adachi again. He has more free time now that we've completed a dungeon. <laughs> I mean, hey, Nanako's fun to be around, and she's related to him. Yes, yes, we do. It's almost like we get better personas out of seeing you. I mean, we are actually pretty busy right now. Huh? Oh, you'd be surprised. Among other more important things. Oh, speaking of lonely. This is bad. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Adachi had a different first name in the manga for some reason. Finally, his namesake shows up. So, I guess Adachi's off the hook this time. Feels like a lot of people here get work overseas. Yes, work. Definitely getting in the way of that, and not just, you know, procrastinating. So, hey, Adachi, you're safe. No more Nimono for you.
Is it really, though? <laughs> this one is actually worth points. Although, technically speaking, it's not necessary because the next rank up doesn't require any points. But I may as well go for the maximum possible amount of points here. And this is actually the last Jester rank up we'll be doing for quite a while. Hey. Because of this. Sorry. Hey, wait! Dojima-san! Did he just apologize for me? And suddenly it's fully voiced? We'll see ya. Dojima-san's waiting. I'm not sure why they decided to fully voice the last three lines of that and nothing else. But yeah, Adachi is not going to have any free time for quite a while. Oh, welcome home, big bro. So Jester will be stuck at rank 6 for um, some time. And tonight all we're going to do is finish off 100 ghost stories. Finishing this off before we do... well, I mean, you'll see. I think it actually tells you how it works. Because we haven't actually done the thing that this benefits. But we will very soon. Yeah, so this actually affects the janitor job at the hospital. You get more courage out of it, and we'll be starting that very soon, so that's going to maximise our courage gains. Senpai. Oh, how I wish I could say yes to this. That's so. At least this isn't- I know I keep going on about this, but at least it isn't the other guide. That sounded extremely forceful, but we're still going to decline. Today, we're going to finally see the fruits of our efforts that have been set up for quite a while. Well, the most recent part of the setup happened uh, only a few days ago. We're gonna talk to Saki's brother again, and hopefully we can finally start referring to him by his actual name. This song playing, I believe it's called Trauma Ray or something. Get used to it because this song's gonna be playing for just about every rank of this social link. Yeah, I thought so. Well, I mean, if no Thank one was you. using it. No, it's okay. Oh, I'm Naoki Konishi. Finally, we can stop calling him Saki's brother. Thank God.
The Hanged Man Arcana is a very unique one in terms of symbolism. The card depicts a man suspended upside down from a tree, hanging just above the earth. At the time the common tarot deck was made, this was a form of punishment used for traitors in Italy, but the expression on the man's face shows that he's putting himself through this of his own accord, and thus it can be taken to mean self-sacrifice. But on the other hand, it also carries a theme of suspension, literally being tied to something, and literally hanging between two extremes. Which lends itself to another meaning, feeling like you're trapped in your life, and that there's something you need to let go of in order to truly be free. And it's fitting that this arcana comes directly before death in the Fool's Journey, the card representing the end of the old and the start of the new. There are a few possible themes regarding the personas of this arcana mythology-wise. Some of them are associated with self-sacrifice, but quickly skimming through their compendium entries, I found that most of these personas are figures capable of both benevolence and malevolence in mythology. For example, Makami are sometimes used to ward off evil, but have also been known to eat people. While Bereth is a demon who can be summoned to answer any question truthfully, but will always lie if not asked a question, and can tempt people to things like murder. Basically, they're beings who exist between two extremes. In gameplay terms, they're primarily defensive and learn a lot of support skills. Our Hangman social link is represented by Naoki Konishi, Saki's younger brother. You have to jump through a lot of hoops to unlock it to begin with, but once you do, it's a fairly simple social link, available Monday to Thursday, and it requires a pretty comfortable number of points for most of its ranks. It's one I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but from a story standpoint, I still find it very, very interesting. No, it's not. Goodbye. Now we know where to find him, at least. So, yeah, that's another pretty emotionally heavy social link. Welcome back. And speaking of emotionally heavy social links, we're actually not going to be doing Dojimas tonight. We're instead going to be finally following up on a part-time job we accepted ages ago. And it's the one that we just got reminded of. We're going to do the hospital janitor job. So, here's where I need to talk about something a little interesting. Because of the stat increases from the music club as opposed to drama, on my test playthrough I was actually able to replace our first time making envelopes with starting the hospital janitor job early. I did not do that here for a few reasons. Well, the main reason was I actually forgot about what I did in my original playthrough and just followed the guide instead, but considering that Hurricane Harlan is actually following these videos, and honestly I think that's pretty amazing, I felt like it would be best to stick to the schedule that he laid out just to make it easier to follow for people who are reading his guide, as well as, yeah, to respect him more, basically. But... On my first playthrough, I was a little bit ahead with the hospital janitor job. And so because of that, I was able to change up the schedule a little bit later. I'm going to have to readjust things a little bit on this run in order to account for the fact that I did not start the job early this time. But everything should work out fine. After patrolling the empty room. Sounds like some kind of code. <laughs> oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. I'll see you again. Well, 
Well, that was interesting. If only we had that kind of luck during Operation Babe Hunt.